So today, I thought we'd revisit The Division in 8K resolution. I have a lot of fond memories in The Division. Fun fact, this is where I first met Luki, who was in a lot of my videos and a good friend of mine. I met him randomly in the dark zone in the subway. And we've been friends ever since. So it kind of holds a close place in my heart, The Division. Good memories. And it's, it's something that uh, the day before wishes it could be. Or could have been, I should say. Warning. Now leaving the safe area. So we're just going to have a walk down the street. Take in the scenery in 8K and the details. And just uh, feel embarrassed for what Fantastic tried to make. Just look at the detail. How much more atmosphere and life is just in these scenes. Pick it up. Move down the street a little bit more. Shot me in the back, they did. Okay. Dropped a little bit of loot for us. Got him. It's like the snow's getting a bit heavier, actually. Oh, look. A civilian's trying to get in the warm. Or trying to rob the taxi, either way. Bullshit. Come on, open up. I'll grab a bit of coffee and I'll loot this backpack as well while I'm in here. We can shut these doors. <laughs> that always stuck with me, you know, from that first gameplay. I know it, it got a downgrade, but... Knowing what we know now, with games like the day before, makes you appreciate these a hell of a lot more.
just how densely packed these streets are. Fire in the hole! Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, look at the, the density of these streets. I know not all streets are like this, but there's a lot of lot of cars about. Oh, did we just witness a murder? Hey there, boy. definitely is really making me appreciate games a lot more going back I don't know if anybody else feels the same but we moaned back then and oh my god I know Ubisoft is no better Jesus Christ I'm not saying that I'm not defending Ubisoft in any way especially with their latest of uh, you won't own your games yeah I know they want to go digital and all that but I'm really against the not owning your own game when you bought it kind of thing, even whether it's digital or not, you know? I collect physical games and media, so... But for that reason, because if anything ever happens, we have a powered cut, or, you know, they close their services, you've lost all that money in content. If I've got the CD on my shelf, I can just pop it into a console, or, you know... If it's a movie, I can just pop it into a player and, and watch it. I don't need a connection. So I'm, I'm kind of against this whole you won't own it type of thing. Really don't like them taking away that that ownership. I wasn't happy when uh, PCs went digital, but it's kind of been a long time thing now and, and Valve has really handled Steam's ownerships really well of games and, you know, you've got power. And recently 
Spec Ops The Line was removed from Steam, but I still own it. I can still download it. I can still play it. I tested all that. Uh, actually, yesterday, as of the making of this video, and it'll probably be a game I cover in 8K also in the future. But anyway, I'm waffling on. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on that uh, either way in the comment section below. I'm just enjoying taking in the uh, scenery here. And thought I'd, we'd talk about that as we're playing a Ubisoft game. It's also let me see what a shit show the day before even was even more so going back to the, the division just to going back to something that they blatantly tried to copy and how they underachieved in that and the latest stuff is they're trying to blame all the creators and outlets for you know telling people the truth and what they were doing oh my i just i couldn't be asked to cover it even though it'd get me a load of views probably i, I, I it really annoys me people like that I just hope those brothers that owned Fantastic never, ever step foot in the gaming industry ever again. At least we still got the Division 1 and 2. And I think there's a new Division coming out. Homeland, I think, is... Uh, there's a mobile version uh, coming out. And Homeland, I think, which is a free-to-play Division. Which I'm quite looking forward to. But I'm pretty impressed how well this holds up. Like I said, it let... Oh, somebody sneaking up on me. Oh, no, that's a civilian. He wants some food. Let me see if I got some food for you. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, that was a fair trade. But yeah, like I said, it, it really shines a new light on these games. Unless I see kind of how they can possibly look. Even though they're 10 up to 10 years old, or even older. If you can run them with on the newest tech and maxed out. Oh my God, they shine. Imagine what today's games are going to look like 10 years down the line when we can actually run those in proper 4K uh, and above. It's going to be insane. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any ideas for any other games to try in 4K to 8K resolutions, whatever it can support, I will try my best to get it running. And of course, your thoughts on the non-ownership of games that the Ubisoft CEO tried to spout. I think there's a few others as well. Are uh, you a physical collector like myself? All units. We've got a hostile stronghold up on West 29th. Please investigate. And that latest day before post by Fantastic. Oh my god. Don't get me even started. We'll try and have fun. Positivity and fun is what, what we're trying to do. Uh, oh my god. But don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching. And I'm about to shoot these guys. Oh, God. <laughs> that did something and i'll see you peeps next time cheers for the loot boys